down the line. This first goblin is going to turn and he is going to He's just going Shoot to uh, attack you with his just his normal his uh, spear. And his attack is a 20. Is that a hit? Yeah, I'm sure it's a hit. So. <coughs> That's a that is a hit. All right, you take just you take a flat 4 damage. That's all that does. Should have let the nice townspeople tank these goblins. <laughs> all the townspeople tanks are almost down. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a few uh, left. left. <laughs> he he said there was smoke, and if I threw something at him, I probably would have got to find this smoke there. <laughs> yeah, there, the the next goblin he advances towards you, and he also attacks, and he misses really bad, as in super bad, as in almost knocking himself out bad. Uh, so his his is a miss. So he, he slammed into the cart. Basically, yeah. <laughs> he, uh, he was charging in and, and tripped over uh, a bale of hay or, or something and uh, ran into the cart. He'll be back up next round. Alright, the next goblin is he going to... Down. He is going to shoot his crossbow at Batista. You were the lucky recipient of the the roll. Which one is doing that? This one right here. And his cool. attack is a 15. I believe that is a miss, right? That is a miss. <clears throat> Alright, as you, and you I will, raise I your will shield and you absorb the arrow into your shield. So... And what do you what do you want to do, Evan? Since, since he is adjacent to me and he used a ranged weapon, I get an attack of opportunity, which should have been there before the shot actually got fired. No. I think you can go ahead and get your attack of opportunity. <laughs> yeah, ne next time if you need to do that, just let me know before I do the roll. No big deal though. Nice. We'll just Twenty-three continue. versus uh, AC. You crush him, <clears throat> and you you don't even need to roll damage because I'm sure you're probably going to kill him. So he, you basically take your axe and you just you, you almost split him in half. Oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. So there you go. That's got, a big X. <laughs> yeah, we got one dead, uh, one dead goblin. Kick him into the well. <laughs> the goblin directly in front of you. He is going to attack, and his roll is a ooh, actually a critical. So you just take, uh, you take a. It doesn't say anything for a critical, and it's a flat damage uh, attack. So four damage. I mean, it doesn't matter if uh, these are basically level one minion grunts. So you just take a flat four damage, even for a crit. All right. Now the next one is going to move up. He is also going to attack. His attack is a wow, is a 21. You take four more damage. Uh I don't see a health bar on on him on Shamas. Oh, cuz he took the other hit point variable out. No problem though. Your okay. max is what? 40 hit points. There you go. Yeah, there yeah, you go. good, good, good. Because go. as the as the healer, I kind of want to know that's not. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's no problem. Yeah, that's the only that's the only variable on the sheet that you'll have numbers in both columns is the the hit points. Everything else, uh, just okay. Sorry. Yeah, no, don't worry about it, man. All right, All right this, I won't. This goblin is going to <laughs> run around the cart, and he is going to start attacking this townsperson that is running away. And this goblin is going to run up and engage you and attack. And you take another four damage, because that's a hit. Wow, man, I'm slamming these rolls. That was another crit as well. 
So I've had a 20, 16, and 20 my last three rolls. Was that on <clears throat> Shamash? That was on Shamash, yeah, because you had uh, this guy right here. He come up up on. Oh, his, okay. Uh, the X was on him. I didn't. So yeah, you yeah you've got three targets uh, that have kind of got you a little little surrounded. So. All right. The other goblin is gonna. I gotta see how much movement I actually have on this guy. I can move that far. So. He can't quite get there. Hey, boom. I'll grab me another beer. And boom, boom. the last one is going to run over here. And those are the grunts. Now, let's see. I need to look at the... All right. So the first goblin warrior is going to charge straight in. And the second one as well. And the last NPC is going to uh, emerge through the all of the the dust that is finally starting to settle. And it seems like there is a another individual that has entered the the area as well. And that is it for the 300 goblins. <laughs> now Batista, you're up now. You have two, uh, two. The two larger goblins have actually uh, started running towards you, and you notice that they are engaging you. All right, let's step forward to these, and I am going to use a. For, for low level guys, these these goblins actually have pretty badass freaking armor classes and stuff. Oh, they do. Yeah, they do. They are good. Well, they're, they're all wearing. They're wearing at least leather armor. Looks like they're all, all right, wearing I'm going to leather. Strike this first one. Okay, the one right here. Yep. And this does. And Holy, Holy Strike is a uh, at will, right? Yes, it's a melee. Yeah, at will first one. And then that is a we can weapon up here. All right, so roll your attack. I think yeah, that's versus my armor class. So then my damage goes from my wisdom modifier. Twelve versus armor class. That is a miss. You whiffed. You still, you guys still have actions as well, action points you could spend to get other attacks or or whatnot. So, just remember, you guys have those as well. Oh, and and was that a long and a short rest to get back? I I can't remember which one. Uh, for what the action? I think you have to have yeah. the the extended rest to get back your your daily and stuff like that. Okay. And Good. your action. All right, I will use my action point to do a valiant strike. Yeah. yeah, but see, here's how, here's how it works though. It, I can sort of like give you rewards as action points as well. So you can actually literally go over one. That's if I give you like a bonus, sort of like how the bennies work in Savage Worlds. Well, if you have two or three actions still, action points, and if we have an extended rest, you'll lose those. So anytime you have an extended rest. You automatically reset to one, so that's just to let you know. Okay, this says that um, for two, for every monster that's adjacent to me, I get a plus one to my strength. So that would be. Yeah, what, what is that? For the valiant strike. For valiant strike. So I guess you used your action point then. Yes. Okay. Okay, so you get to do your attack. Plus one. Twelve again. Damn it, heavy. <laughs> that is a, a twelve actually, because you got to add the extra one. Yes. And that that's a miss as well. So. 
Wah, wah. Sorry about that. We wasted our are, good rolls on a bluff check. Man, you guys are you guys are sucking ass on the rolls. Boom! At this point, is rolling his eyes. All right, that ends my turn. Tomanook. Yes. Uh, what is the shaman gonna do? The shaman is going to move a little bit first. To about there, and then, oh wait, uh, do you count uh, five feet as adjacent? Yeah, with, as long as you're w within the five foot hit radius, yeah. Yep. Oh, damn it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast uh, Wrath of Winter. Oh, hold on, I might be too far off. No, I'm not. Wrath of Winter on. Eh, that one. <laughs> okay, the one down here. Yeah. That All right. One. Sounds if, if good. If you deem it uh, within uh, within vision range, sort of. No, that's 50. good. Okay, good. Wrath of Winter. So that's a. Ah, damn it. That's a wisdom versus. Wisdom check versus fortitude, so... Yeah, and I rolled an 8, so I don't uh, think let me, will happen. let me check the fortitude of that <laughs> goblin cutter. No, no, actually, it was close, no. but no, you missed. Damn it. Okay. He uh, resisted. Then, boom, uh, we'll walk and wobble up behind uh, 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 him. What, Batista. Oh! That's a good size. Thank you. <laughs> that big bird. <laughs> now, so, so what is what exactly does Burk Boom do? Big. Boom doesn't uh, actually attack. He just kind of Boom, he does Boom opportunities, does, right? Boom only has opportunity attacks to do actual damage mm -hmm. or at will or encounters that I do through him. Okay. But when any of my allies are adjacent adjacent to Boom, uh, they get one. Bonus to fortitude, will, and reflex. Oh, cool! Very nice. Very nice. So, so uh, Batista at this point does have a bonus one to all of those oh. three. That's cool. You'll have to you'll have to keep a mental note of that. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just, 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 just say it as soon all right. as I put him next to someone. Alcine, you are up now. All right, and you I have would two. Like goblin grunts on you. Little goblin cutters. Now just to... Uh, how does the shift work? If I shift, I... Like, if I shift to, say, here... I think shift works like disengage in D&D Next. I could use my move action to move five feet without taking a attack of opportunity. Uh, uh, you would say you can move those five feet if you still face the targets that are engaged to you. That's my sort of uh, suggestion. But Dave is the ultimate god of this universe. Yeah, a, a, a shift is actually what Dave said. He, he moves five feet and does not take an attack of opportunity. Yeah. But he can only shift five feet. Yeah, and I, I believe the shift actually cost your action as well, right? So you wouldn't get an attack. Um, um, I don't think it works that way. Well, let's, let's yeah, shift is the same as a move action. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I thought but he, was, still has, uh, he still has his minor and, and standard. Yeah, shift is a move action, so... Yeah, you'll you'll still have your minor action, which you can like uh, drink a potion or uh, load a bow or pick up an item. So yeah. So D and D four point oh works. You get one move action, one standard action, one minor action, right? One of each. And or correct. you could take three minors or something like that. Yeah. I think it also said you can use how many free actions. As yeah. Want. But I don't know what the free action is. So. But the, the free actions are sort of like speaking and stuff like okay. that. Okay, good. As long as you're not, you know, reciting the Gettysburg Address, <laughs> I, I uh, think you'll be okay. <laughs> as, as long as Heavy doesn't bring up his background story. <laughs> yeah, so you can do your shift, and then, but you can still take a minor and your regular attack as well. So Okay. 
Yeah, you can just uh, you'll you'll notice on the character sheet, I have all of the 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 links for like actions, action and combat, and it has all that information on there. So yeah, that's where I actually read that you can take as many free actions uh, as you want. Huh? Huh? Uh, Pretty uh, nice, I huh? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. See, yeah, all the information's right here. We don't okay. have to dig through PDFs and anymore. I would uh, like to go ahead and take my sh uh, take my move action as a shift. Okay. And I would like to shift uh, five feet this way. All right. And I would like to use an at my at will <coughs> attack called repost. Hang on, I'll read it for you. Repost. Repost strike. It's a dex versus AC, and I'm going to be hitting him with the dagger, so it's light blade. Okay. Uh, the, if the target attacks you before the start of my next turn, you make a repost attack against the target as an immediate interrupt, a strength versus AC. So I would basically be two attacks on one guy, essentially, if he attacks me on and his you get turn. A free attack. Does it have to hit, or or if is it? No, it doesn't say. Hmm. It just says interesting attack. Must be wielding a light blade. Target one care one creature. Dex versus AC. So if I hit, yeah. it's one weapon plus Dex modifier. Yeah, go ahead and roll your uh, roll against the AC. Let's see how it uh, let's see how it goes. Come on, stupid. Uh, and I assume you mean <laughs> that's what you hear, yes. Fifteen. That is a hit. Outstanding. So Damn. it's a one d four plus my dex modifier. So I think it's two, isn't it? Oh no, four. Your dex modifier is four. I think. Yeah, my dex modifier plus the bonus. Uh. Would that be bonus damage as well? Yeah, you're going to kill this guy anyway. It doesn't matter because his hit points are just uh, to where you're. It, they're lower than your minimum damage, so this guy falls over dead. You give him. You give it right into his side, man. So the, he, okay. The goblin kills over. I'll see you. Got to kill. Congratulations, your yeah. first kill. Now, Shamash. That guy fell down. Shamash, you are up. Shamash is turning to face the guy in the middle, grinning, and he's going to use his encounter power of Dragon Breath, which will fill an area 15 feet by 15 feet in front of him with Dragon Fire. Oh, wow, so that's going to hit all three. Bad. Yeah. 15 by 15, you might even even hit the uh, the hexer there in the back. Yeah, you definitely will. <laughs> Good. Nice. That's Good. that's nice. Bad baby, bad disco inferno. Ooh, not 24 <laughs> versus reflex. Uh, yeah, you've definitely you've burnt all of them, including the hexer. And I I would think that that would be full damage as well, right? Actually, they take six points of damage. Okay. All three of the the small cutters in front of you, they all are on fire and dead on the ground. Nice job. <laughs> I was wondering if you were going to do that, because they were lined up pretty good for you there. That's sort, what I was waiting on. Sort of like a, like a perfect horn of blasting shot. All right. So, do you want any other moves or minor actions, or are you done? No, no, that's it. I'm done. No, I just killed three things in one round. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've done your yelling to the paladin. Look what I did! Right. <laughs> All right. Now you can see the this. Uh, Goblin and robes appear out of the out of the mist and the smoke there. Shamash, 
and he begins to wave his hands and he is casting and in fact he's facing you actually alright and what is your will oh my goodness this is a ridiculous power what's your will yeah your will I need your will Oh, I'm sure it's a hit anyway, so... Holy cow. He just hit you with... Yeah, 13. Sorry. I had to open my sheet back up. Yeah, it's 13. no problem. He hit you with a 26 anyway, and that wasn't a crit, so... Sorry, I, I had to... Oh, my God. Out the trash, what I miss. Well, this is a... Yeah, this is a lot of damage. What language do these goblins speak? Just uh, normal... Oh, I would imagine. You take 9 damage. That's not. That's pretty good for three d six damage. That's How much strong. was it? Nine damage. He hit you with stinging hex. It's one of his recharge powers. Cool. All right, and the hexer is going to take a move action as well and move over here. All right, now let's see, Batista, you're up. Oh, uh, can you use utility spells in combat? Oh, actually, I need to attack with the the other goblins. I'm sorry, my bad. Okay, never mind. <laughs> the goblin over here kills this town's person. This goblin runs up, starts to attack. Two more dead townspersons. All right, the one on you is going to attack Alcine and his attack is a miss. He was he, he still had bad effects from about knocking himself out on the wagon last round so yeah it didn't help him any this round so and here I've been sitting with my mic muted playing my character perfectly <laughs> <laughs> all right this goblin's gonna run up and attack as well there's another one that just uh, went up on the actual X and his attack is uh not much better that is a 10, and that is a miss. That's, yeah, that's a big miss. Alright, now the... first heavily armored, the larger goblins. He is going to attack the paladin. And... What is your AC? 20. He's going to attack you with this, just with a normal spear attack. And a 12, that is a miss. The second one. Parry the blow. He's going to do a regular spear attack as well. Actually, no, he's going, he's going to throw a javelin at Tamanook. So is, is that going to open up a opportunity attack as well? Seeing that you are within the... With the penguin. No, he's going to attack Tamanook. With a, he's going to throw a javelin at him, so... I would... Yes, and any range attack is an opportunity attack. Okay. Or, so, so, yes. So is that, a, is that a reaction to interrupt it? it? it, it 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 no it doesn't interrupt but it takes place before so if he kills this orc he mm. doesn't throw his axe but if yeah. you just damage him the axe is still thrown yeah it's sort of ha yeah gotcha go ahead and do a normal just a normal attack because all opportunity attacks are just a normal attack from what I remember 
So yeah, I, I think that is just a normal. Yeah. So go ahead and do an, uh, an attack on this guy here because he is launching a javelin your way. Just a normal attack. Heavy. Oh, ready for me? Yeah. <laughs> Are you, you playing a game? Or are you watching porn or <laughs> oh, something? Yeah. Or what's going no, no, no. on? I was, I was reading a lot. I was waiting for my turn. Oh, that's no problem. Okay. Um, it says here that if I know the language of these creatures, that um, my intimidation factor will be increased. But I need to know their language. It's, we're not doing... We're, you're doing an opportunity attack. Because he oh, is... opportunity attack. Okay. My bad. Correct. <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Uh, Pay attention. Brain here. Yeah, you need to slow it down a bit. Come on. We need you. Ooh, nice. Nice hit. That's a hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Just normal damage. So. Alright. And he gets his javelin off. And. Uh, 22. Does that. Yeah, that lands. I don't think anybody has anything that high. So. Uh, you're going to take a total of five damage from the javelin. For for me? That's from you. Yep, for you. You take five damage. <laughs> yep. All right. So now it is. I think all of the goblins have. Yeah, all of the goblins have attacked. So, Batista, you are up now. The 300 okay. goblins have attacked. All right. Okay, back to my original plan on the two that's in front of me. Um, should I do a perception check to see what kind of language they're using? Uh, you you can just look at them and tell that they're goblins. They're just a larger. They're just a a larger goblin. Okay, I don't speak their language, so I get a minus five to my intimidation. I'm going to try to uh, intimidate both of these, and on doing so, they become hassled, which is... Uh, Maz1 and SMU420 Stone, thanks for the follows, guys. I appreciate it. Maz1 and SMU420 uh, Stoned. Intimidated and usually make a target hassle towards you if you don't, and if successful, uh, shoot, it's got to be bloodied. Yeah, I can make them surrender if they're bloodied. I just want to make an intimidation attack, see if I can get them to scare them away, kind of. Yeah, they're they're uh, they're not bloodied, that's for sure. Yeah, they're not bloodied, so there's my intimidation. Okay, that that <laughs> is yeah, a fail. Them, we'll just, uh... Come on, heavy. <laughs> well, I'm just doing doing them all. Okay, here comes a and that's, mighty sword. Th was that an action, or was no? That... Those are minors. It's oh, okay, a, it's a gotcha. Intimidation action. Okay, it's like a minor. Gotcha. Like, just like yelling at him. Okay, here comes the sword. You're attacking the same one, right? Yeah, the one straight in front of me. Okay. That's a hit. Go ahead and roll damage again. Nice, nice, ah, nice hit. Now this guy is bloodied. Now he's bloodied. All right, so Batista, you're done. You don't have any more action points. Other, other, other movement, no, I'm not going to move yet. All right, Tamanook, you're up now. Tamanook, you've actually seen the Dragonborn get hit quite a few times. Ah, shoes. I know. Tamanook. I'm about to use my healing spirit at him, Ooh. which makes him uh, able to use one of his uh, healing surges. Ooh. But before, um. No, I can't do that. Never mind. Give yourself a healing surge if you want to. Yeah, if you guys want to keep track on a little piece of paper, your healing surges. Don't don't worry about adjusting that stuff on the on the character sheet. So I'll probably end up changing the tokens to reflect healing surges and probably get rid of movement or something. So who is that for? It was for Shama. Shama. Uh, when Tamaduk says it, it's far from far far Yeah, I can just feel the energy pulsing through me. <laughs> Ooh, that that's right what she did. said. 
That's what <laughs> she said. But not to you. <laughs> <laughs> I think you beat me to saying that. <laughs> oh, I could give a shit. 